Copilot Actions is a new upcoming Microsoft 365 Copilot feature that was recently announced at Ignite and is currently in private preview. While initially I wasn't filled with as much excitement about the potential of this as I am for Copilot Agents, as I've had time to reflect on it, I actually think there are some very good reasons why this is potentially one of the most important advances of Microsoft 365 Copilot since its release. So let's look at what Copilot actions are, how I think they will fit into the broader Copilot landscape, and why they will probably gain more traction for many users than many of the other options we've now got for tailoring your Copilot experience. But first, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm a consultant who specializes in helping smaller businesses get the best from AI. Check out the links below if you're interested in learning more about me or my services. And as always, if this video is useful to you, please give it a like to help it get in front of more interested people. And if you want to see more like this, please do subscribe. Copilot actions allow you to build simple, trigger, reason, act actions that operate in the context of Microsoft 365 Copilot and at the most basic level will allow you to repeat actions you would otherwise take using BizChat in a manageable and understandable format. They are designed as a simple but powerful solution for business users to gain additional value from Microsoft 365 Copilot without having to always be directly in the middle of the interaction. But don't get too excited yet. While Copilot actions were announced at Ignite, it was highlighted that they are currently in private preview, so we can't yet get our hands on them. I don't think we know the expected delivery, but even if we did, those dates are often unreliable. But given that we're already in December, I think it's reasonable to guess sometime in 2025. You'll manage your Copilot actions from the Microsoft 365 app, and it will get its own quick access link, just like BizChat and Copilot Pages. You will both be able to use out-of-the-box templates, as well as creating custom actions. The templates will center around activities we are already familiar with using Copilot, like catching up on content, helping with a meeting or team management or creating new content. And these activities really have two modalities. You can have actions that provide shortcuts for you to initiate a process and then have Copilot handle it. Something like gathering information ahead of a deadline to send a newsletter out. But you can also have work done proactively based on trigger events, like preparing briefings ahead of meetings. In the demos we've seen so far, all those trigger events are scheduled recurrences, but given that it seems impossible that this is built on anything other than Power Automate, after all, autonomous agent triggers are even just built on Power Automate, I expect we'll be able to build actions that respond to a far wider range of trigger events. The building experience of actions from templates is really straightforward. You essentially fill in the blanks with the required data and set your action off to do its job. And then when you get back its work, it can send it where you want it, but the underlying asset we see is a copilot page or loop page, making the AI collaboration claims of that product a lot more real in my opinion. Initially, I somewhat dismissed Copilot Actions as a less exciting advance than Copilot Agents. But the reality is that I hear far more people actively desiring a more proactive Copilot, and the types of capabilities we see here are likely to scratch that itch for many. So how do I think this will change how we use Copilot? Adopting AI comes with undeniable productivity and efficiency benefits but also a new set of risks. My new on-demand course, Responsible AI for Business Users, gives you an overview of AI safety and responsible use across seven modules and easily digestible bite-sized videos of 10 minutes or less. You will learn why generative AI makes mistakes, how to identify those errors, and how to ensure your proprietary data or private information stay safe while using AI. You don't want to be the next cautionary tale for what can go wrong with AI and risk the reputational damage, business challenges, or even financial impact that can result. Ensure you and your team are equipped with the knowledge that can help you stay safe and use AI responsibly. Check out the link down below to find out more about Responsible AI for Business Users. The overarching promise of AI being an assistant for all we do 
isn't really delivered by the prompt response model we've been working within since ChatGPT first jumped onto the scene two years ago. It's undoubtedly helpful, and in some cases really helpful, but it's not the way that help works best all of the time. Copilot Actions lets you set Copilot a task and just let it do its thing. It doesn't eliminate any of the responsible AI stuff with having a human in the loop. We're just not ready for that yet, and you'll still be expected to review and update what it puts together for you. But it's also more sophisticated in terms of how it's helping you than just accelerating everything you do. If Copilot is designed to amplify your capacity, then Copilot Actions is designed to lessen your mental load. Just as in my recent Autonomous Agents video, we could sit down with Power Automate and logic our way through any of the templates that we saw in those Copilot Actions demos. But the standard of telling people you know how to lessen their load by telling them to learn Power Automate simply isn't a deal that everyone has the capacity or even the willingness to take on. Having the human create the expectations and the guardrails and then having the AI work out how on simple tasks such as these is a reasonable new route forward for everyone who doesn't want to be a low code maker. Looking out into the future, the inclusion of Copilot actions actually makes the picture of Copilot we're starting to see make a lot of sense. We have the baseline of Microsoft 365 Copilot where we work on routine day-to-day -day tasks. We can then deploy agents that let us focus in on specific data or actions that help us through certain strands of our processes or projects. For simple, low value, but important tasks, we get Copilot actions that can be easily deployed and managed. And whether you're using Copilot or Copilot actions is doing work for you, the created asset is likely to be a Copilot page. And then as we step into more complex less personal but centralized processes, we have other tools like autonomous agents that kind of give Copilot actions superpowers and more easy process analysis where it really matters. This still isn't an AI assistant that just watches everything you do and proactively helps, but it's substantially closer than we have been. There are some things we don't know about this advance yet, and I think will be important to the usability and impact. First, will you be able to use Copilot Actions for any agent you have access to in BizChat or solely for Microsoft 365 Copilot? My hope is that Copilot Actions will be able to access any capability of any agent and that agent builders might even get the opportunity to publish corresponding action templates. But on this front, we'll have to wait and see. Second, what is the technology that sits behind Copilot Actions? We can logically infer that driving the triggers and output actions is Power Automate, but what is the AI that connects them together in the middle? Is it a version of the Copilot Studio generative orchestrator that is at the heart of autonomous agents? Or is it something more simple where the logic flow of the action is all Power Automate and the AI involvement is a Power Platform prompt action? The answer to this question will ultimately drive just how flexible and resilient to changed conditions Copilot actions will be. And this flexibility and resilience will, in my view, be at the core of whether this is a successful product in the long term. However, overall, I think this will be a really useful aspect of Copilot, particularly in regards to accelerating adoption for those who have been concerned about the absence of proactivity, wanting Copilot to do stuff rather than just respond to prompts. As always, when this finally turns up, I'm sure I'll provide an update. What do you think? Are you excited for Copilot Actions? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.